All right, what up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is Chipotle. So my dad has been a chef for over 40 years. I bring him fast food restaurants. He turns it gourmet. Today we're doing Chipotle. I know you guys really like these videos, so if you could hit the like button, it really helps out the channel. So Chipotle, one of my favorite chains, basically what I got for him was a chicken bowl, because I feel like that's kind of like the most common thing. I got the sauces separate, just so it wasn't all messed up in the bowl. But in order to get the sauces separate, I had to order them with a bunch of chips. So I ordered like four bags of chips or something. So he'll probably end up using that. And yeah, so the sauces I got were the tomatillo, the corn salsa, and the queso. So, and then of course I have the chicken bowl. So yeah, it's brands my dad, and we're gonna see what he does with it. Okay, so I have the Chipotle. Have you ever had Chipotle before? You know, I, I the first time I had Chipotle was I was in Denver with the family. Hey, I think that was the beginning of Chipotle. Now it's all over the world and all over the states. Uh, you know, congratulations. Wow, Chipotle. I had a lot of chips. You got a lot quite a few chips for me. Wow, three bags of chips. But I really want to know what you got for me, like sauces. And, oh, there's a corn salsa. This is like the tomatillo. Yeah. Wow. I have to dissect this romaine lettuce topping. You know what? I need my glasses. I can't see a damn thing. You know what this is called? Some kind of bowl, I expected. Burrito bowl. A burrito bowl. So burrito, I expected what goes in a burrito, what's gonna be on the top, right? So you have lettuce, cheese, melted topping. It's almost like they have this grill, like a fajita, a kind of vegetable on the top. I mean, the, everything tastes very kind of smoky, grill. I think it's very much sort of like a grill, chicken, grill vegetable. I have to separate this. Wow, they gotta give, oh, they have black beans. I gotta separate all that. So it'll give you white rice, huh? So you know, Mexican, they love, they love, their culture of food is very, very, very strong in terms of how they actually, uh, from dessert to, to uh, even drinking water. Mm, mm. You know what, I have to go to a restaurant, pick up a couple of things to kind of enhance it, to make it very gourmet. But I'm gonna divide it into, not two courses, I would like to make a combination of a Mexican-French thing. What do you call that drink in Mexico? They use rice, they blend it. What's the name of that? Yeah. Horchata. 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 Hor. So, Horchata. <laughs> Horrifying. So I'm going to make a horchata, but I have to guess a few ingredients. Okay, let's go. Let me go to a restaurant first. So I also got you this queso sauce. Yeah. Hmm. Queso is Mexican. Is it a cheese sauce? Yeah. Hmm. I like it. It's very creamy. I can use it definitely. So right now I'm trying to find the whitest rice as possible. Hmm. I saw some. Some right rice. Rinse it off with all the herbs, all the seasoning. I separate the rice and then I rinse it off, get rid of all the herbs, all the seasoning. Then I cook it, I cook it down and turn it into a rice pudding. I also have, start with some lime. In the blender, a little bit of lime juice. Here goes the rice pudding. Almond milk, a little bit of honey, a little pinch of cinnamon, cactus fruit. What's cactus fruit? Well, it's coming from a cactus plant. It's almost, you know, mm. look at this. Almost, you know what? I, I, I don't know what to say. Cactus fruit is like a cactus fruit. <laughs> I don't claim to know every single. I do know it's coming from a cactus fruit. Coming okay? from a cactus or coming from a cactus fruit? Coming from a cactus. I think there's also a particular kind of cactus fruit. Make. And I, I, a kind of <coughs> go in, in, in. I use a little bit of lemongrass like seedling. Yeah, just a little bit. Everything's there, and let's blend it up. I need to top it up a few things. Cactus fruit, more cactus fruit. It is beautiful color, and the consistency is just perfect. I'm going to garnish a little bit of pumpkin seed. Now I use a little bit of honey to just go through the rim, right? Just a little bit like that. The pumpkin seed rim. Mm. Chipotle horchata. Chipotle horchata, yes. Horchata. 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 I think it's actually pronounced, you don't say the H, you say or. Horchata. Or, horchata. Of course, we use a metal straw to save the turtles because it's also very good at. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. It is hard. Here you go. 
a little garnish, a little pumpkin seed on the top, a little bit of this lemon balm hanging on the edges. It looks a little bit like, almost like a crown, you know? This is my hochada, ho, hochada, with pumpkin seed and cactus fruit. How Mexican is that? Salute. First, I'm gonna use uh, the chips. And I'm gonna crush it up. Soak it in water. After it's been soaked in water, you can tell the oak like cornflakes. I'm going to get a blender. We're going to blend it up. So I got the puree. Now I put just a little bit of flour to hold you know, the flavor, but chipotle. I'll just, just spread it in. A bit. Move the knife back in this way. Now it goes in the oven. Bake it. About maybe what? 20 minutes. You know, I turned this into a corn sheet. Mmm. Nice. On the table. Just gonna flip it over. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Let it dry it out. Now I'm cutting that into this one. One circle complete. Mmm. See, this is so soft. I mean, I can turn this into a taco chip if I want to. Two balls and no, I know what you get at. Not going there. Oh, this is um, I'm using this for garnish. Now I'm pick up all the vegetable. I'm going to kind of re-saute a little bit, get a more flavor. Pepper, onions. So I just needed to have a quick saute. Turn on the pan. Now this no no no. We're gonna keep this. I'm gonna dice it up just a little bit. You know, a little bit like a brunoise, a little dice, the olive oil. I don't want to make it so greasy. One salsa go down. I use chicken. Mm -hmm. Black beans. Mm. You see, without chipotle, there is no chipotle. The chipotle powder. Green chili sauce, go down. Just to soften it up, to find a little bit of cheese sauce. One, two. Mm. Goes down, boom. We're gonna cool it down. Wajillo chili with sesame, that's a very Mexican seasoning. I have egg wash here, quack. Get rid of the egg white, a little quick stir. Now we're gonna do the pastry part. So, we move everything pushing up on the top. I wanna put this in the fridge to cool down. Now, I have some jalapeno. And then I have some chili rings. Set the oven, 375. I have puff pastry. Then I have my corn that I rolled up. This one is from the corn chips. I have some cotilla cheese. I wanna enhance with the pastry, so I grate some cotilla cheese. Put some right in the bottom, some cotilla cheese. Now I took it out from the fridge, then I put my stuffing inside, flatten it down, and then I put a little more cheese on top of this. The sesame Mexican seasoning. And on the top, again, I use a little bit of food glue. Now I'm sealing the pie, you know, with all the edges. Now we have some egg yolk. We're just gonna brush it. Now I'm putting a little bit of jalapeno rings on the top. Now I also made a little bit of design. One more strip. Okay, there you go. Go in, Be some pie. Well, it would take about, uh, I would say 20 minutes. We're gonna check, we'll turn on the light, and then I will show you the rest of it. Okay, what do you do? This is the French and Mexican pie. So, we get some sauce. A little bit of tomatillo, wajillo chili. So I got some lemon foam here. This is a little bit of lemon foam. So what is this? Some icing sugar. On what? On this is like the corn that I pureed and dry in the oven. So this is part of the presentation. All right, so we're gonna try both of them now. Should we try the drink first? Mm -hmm. oh. Chipotle, horchata. 
Mm. Mm. You can really taste the rice, I feel like. Mm -hmm. No? I think the limes also really helps to just break out the sweetness from a cactus fruit. So what do you okay. think about the drink? I I would say, you know, eight and a half. I need a little more lime juice. A little bit more tartar, a little more cinnamon. Mm -hmm. All right, should we try the next one? Yeah. What's in the inside? Open it. You need a little bit of this, um, you know, the cheese and... Mmm. Okay. Something like that, you cannot take a small bite. Everything? Mm-hmm. Let me see, you got salsa. So what would, mm. you, what would you call this final dish? You know, my fusion, right? My fusion of French, Mexican tart. Very simple. I don't think it's that simple because you know you know how much work actually turned that pastry. What would you give this out of 10 to yourself? Definitely the amount of work I put in is 10 out of 10, 10 out of 11. I do it like a six. Wow. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wow. <laughs> I probably would give this one 9.2, just because of creativity. 9.2 and a half maybe. 9.2 is high. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Nine, oh, it's not 9.8. Okay, talk about craft. Oh, think yeah, the about creativity, the I give a 10, but no, the taste. No, creativity. Out. Well, if you guys like this video, if you guys like this food, try it at home and... Um, <laughs> try this at home. Yeah. <laughs> uh, pastry and lemon foam. <laughs> Why not? Some some chef might want to try it, you know? So anyhow, uh, if you like this, uh, you know, this video, please subscribe, press the button. Right, Nai Nai? Chada.